Um, okay, let, I'm just going to share with you. I think I, I haven't seen my order for a second. I think it is time for me to share a message. It is. Um, okay, so I'm just going to say a short word of prayer, and then I'm going to share with you a very short sermon. It is very short, uh, so um, please uh, bear with me and enjoy. I think there's still some mulled wine if people here want some. Um, okay, well, actually, we might run out. I don't know. Um, let me just pray. Almighty God, as I share from your word, as we remember you uh, at this time, Lord, I pray that your word uh, will, will touch our hearts that we will uh, know your presence with us and that you will speak to us through your Holy Spirit. I pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Now, this is very strange tonight because I can't see, I can see this side of people, but I can't see any, anyone here really. I know there's people there because I can hear them, uh, but uh, I can't see the faces. And I can't see all you at home because I normally have my uh, laptop, computer. Uh, so I'm just believing that you're smiling. Um, and I'm believing that you're following uh, this evening. So normally I, I start my carol. I don't do this every Sunday, but I start my uh, Christmas carol service uh, message with a joke. And I'm, I'm here not to disappoint you uh, uh, this evening. I'm here to encourage you to come back next year. So are you ready for this? Um, okay. So did you hear about the man? who uh, stole the advent calendar. He got 25 days. Come on. Got 25 days. Someone arguing with me whether you get 24 or 25 days on a calendar. Anyway, there you go. Right, often um, at this time of the year, when we reflect on... Christmas, often we, we lose sight of baby Jesus. Uh, there was a time when every school play um, had a, a, a baby Jesus and a nativity uh, uh, play. Um, and now uh, things I've noticed have developed a little bit and changed a little bit. And sometimes uh, we hear of different players. I've heard of a few this this year, one was light camel action. That was a um, a strictly nativity. The worst one I heard of was a Justin Bieber advent nativity. I don't know what that was about, but uh, anyway, um, we sometimes lose sight of baby Jesus. But I want to say something slightly controversial now. Um, the truth is that Christmas is not all, it's not just about baby Jesus. It's not just about a baby. When we think of a baby, we think of someone small, someone vulnerable, someone needy, someone maybe really cute, cuddly. Maybe that is how we see Jesus. Maybe we think Jesus needs us more than we need him. The truth is that Jesus is big. Jesus is all-powerful. Jesus is all-knowing. Jesus is mighty God. He is our provider, our healer, our savior. God's intention is not just for us to see Jesus as a baby. He is more than a baby. As you can see, that's the title of my message. So who is Jesus? Who is this baby? He's arguably the most famous person in history. Over 2.3 billion people claim to follow Jesus one-third of the world's population. Time magazine called him the most influential person that has ever lived. We also need to think about who Jesus said he was. In the book of Mark, in the, in the Bible, 
Jesus said, if you receive me, you receive God. If you welcome me, you, wel you welcome God. He said in John, if you have seen me, you have seen God. Also in John, he said, I and the Father are one. Jesus, baby Jesus, claimed to be God. And I think there are only three reasonable responses for us to take from this claim. Three reasonable responses we can take from this claim. One is that it's not true and that Jesus was a liar. Two, it's not true, but Jesus believed he was, so he was either deluded or insane. Or thirdly, it's true. He really was who he claimed to be. Bono, the lead singer of U2, said this. I don't think you're let off easily by thinking he was a great thinker or philosopher because actually he went around saying he was the Messiah. That's why he was crucified. He was crucified because he said he was the son of God. So he either, in my view, was the son of God or he was nuts. And I find it hard to accept that all the millions and millions of lives, half the earth uh, for 2,000 years, have felt their lives have been touched by some nutter. I don't believe. He went on to say, I believe that Jesus was the Son of God. We've had some beautiful readings tonight. Jessica read to us a prophecy from Isaiah, which was written hundreds of years before Jesus' birth. He said, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Ethan read to us about how Joseph was understandably confused because his wife had become pregnant. And he needed some supernatural um, reassurance. So an angel appeared to him and told him, she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Now, I'm, I'm not sure what that did to uh, Joseph's confusion. Um, uh, he had quite a lot to take in at that time. Mandy uh, read to us about how some shepherds, they were petrified as an angel appeared to them. And they said, today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the, the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. I want to challenge you all this Christmas. I want to, set, I want to give you a challenge. What do you believe about the baby? What do you believe? about the baby. Who is Jesus to you? Is he relevant to you? Is he just a baby that we think of every Christmas? Or is he what the prophets claim him to be? Is he what the Bible claims him to be? Is he what he himself claimed to be? Is he what over two billion people claim him to be? Is he the Son of God, the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father? Is he the Prince of Peace, the Savior of our sins? Is he the Messiah, the Lord, the King of Kings, the King of Glory? Of course, this Christmas, I encourage you to reflect on the baby, the baby Jesus. 
by virtue, he's more than a baby. He's more than a baby. And he can be more than a baby for each one of you. In this uncertainty of how we find ourselves, in this uncertainty of life we're now in, there is hope. There is hope. And the hope comes from the baby. The hope is in Jesus. He can be your wonderful counsellor. He can be your mighty God. He can be your healer. He can be your restorer. He can be your Prince of Peace. He can be your everlasting Father. He can be your Saviour. He can be like he is for me. He can be your best friend. He wants nothing more than personal relationship with you this Christmas. And if you want that personal relationship with Jesus, you simply start speaking to him. Invite him into your heart. Talk to him. That's what prayer is. Let me close with a prayer. Almighty God, I want to thank you for Jesus. I want to thank you that Jesus is more than a baby. And Lord, I pray for each and every person that's here in the church grounds this, this evening, all the people listening in, Lord, I pray that they will know you for who you are this Christmas, that you are more than a baby, that you are the mighty God. I pray that you will help us to open our hearts and our minds to you. Help us experience you, encounter you this Christmas time. I pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're going to sing a final hymn, carol, song. Crown him with many crowns.